Welcome to the podcast on the Michael Baden Show. Uh, Dr. Juwan Kanjufu, who's a good friend of mine from Chicago, works at African American Images, and he does a lot of work with a lot of our children, a particular focus on African American boys. And here's some of the comments he's had on the show about what we as parents and teachers can do to improve our children's education and improve their lives. 83% of our children in special ed are not there because of ADD or ADHD, Mike and George. They're there because they have a reading deficiency. And the reason, back to your original question about Willie or Johnny, boys and girls do not mature at the same time. Mm -hmm. So girls are ready to read between kindergarten and second grade. A school would expect boys to be able to read at the same time. For many boys, it's second to fourth grade. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with boys. They don't have a learning deficiency. They simply mature at a slower rate. One of the reasons why Johnny can't read, Michael and George, is that by age five, Susie has had 20,000 hours of a book in her hand. Either she's been reading it or her parents have been reading to Susie. But in terms of Willie, by age five, when they first enter kindergarten together, he's only had 20 hours of a book in his hand, yep. rather uh, he's been read to or he's reading a book himself. Yep. So, I mean, th you can't blame this one on the school nope. initially because it's the first day of school, and one had 20,000 hours and one had 20. Wow. The second problem is that 25% of American homes, and that's probably unfortunately higher for us, um, do, do not have any books at all in their homes. What advice do you have for the parents, Dr. Kanjufu? Well, uh, for the parents you know, that are listening, uh, there, there are three things you've got to do. You, you need to know your child's friend. You need to listen to their music. You need to monitor what they watch on television. You do not need to be your child's best friend. You need to be his parent. You need to have a game plan, a strategy on how you're going to educate your child beyond a high school diploma uh, to a college degree. And that starts with the fact that you can't have your child watching 38 hours of television and only one hour of studying. Uh, for the educators that are listening, you need to raise your expectations. You need to give greater time on tasks, understand classroom management skills. And then last but not least, you can't tell children that Columbus discovered America, that Lincoln freed the slaves, and that Hippocrates is the first doctor. We need to quit lying uh, to our children. Also, Dr. Jawanza Gunjufu had a lot to say about the state of our education system. The million-dollar question is that who is going to educate uh, low-income black and Latino children. Uh, and it's obvious that it's not going to be Superman. And, 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 it, and it, when you look at the movie, it really does present the fact that it appears that charter schools are, are the panacea, but only 20% of charter yep. schools are effective. That's right. Uh, but it's a greater percentage in low-income black and Latino neighborhoods. Uh, but the real tragedy, um, for those who have not seen this movie, I've mentioned numerous times on your show, Mike and George, that there are five types of teachers in our schools. And, and this movie clearly talks about three of them. Custodians. Uh, these are educators who graduated 30 years ago using the same lesson plans 30 years later who will tell you, I got mine and you have yours to get. Hmm. We have referral agents. 20% of our teachers are making 80% of the referrals for special education and suspension. And then instructors, the research is showing that from the fourth grade on, black and Latino scores decline. And one reason is because from the fourth grade on, we have more instructors who believe they teach subjects than, than students. So what the movie pointed out, and you saw this, Mike and George, that uh, one of every 57 doctors will lose their license. That's right, this was shocking. One man. of every 95 lawyers will lose their license. But it's something about education. It's one of every 25,000. 